Okay, here we are. We finally made it where we're going to put together this DIY e-bike. And it's great to have with me here this morning, Ben and Jack, to give us a hand. Three hands make light work. So hopefully we can figure it out. We've got all our tools laid out, the bits we need to put on the bike. Uh, we've got some, an instruction manual. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is strip down the bike. So basically we're going to focus on removing the crank um, and the gear here, breaking the chain, removing the bottle holders, and that'll make way to put the, the main motor and crank set in. Okay, so for this job, you will need some special tools. We've got a crank puller here to help us remove these crank arms. Okay, so we just tried to pull the other side off, but she was jammed on there pretty tight. So now we're just taking the other side off and we're hoping that we should be able to just slide the whole crank through. Okay, got the crank arm off. The other tool you need is this special tool to actually remove the inner nut. Okay, so this side is really tight but we've managed to loosen it off with a bit of WD-40. And there we go. So the next thing is to fit the gear ring to the Bafang mid-drive motor. So this piece is gonna go on and they've provided a nice um, screws, so we'll get this um, screwed on and get the cover on before we install it in the bike frame. Okay, ready to fit the mid-drive motor. Okay, so we've encountered a bit of a problem. Our water bat bottle mounts are a little bit too low for our battery. So we're going to have to re-drill two new holes to cater for the battery mount. Okay, so we've drilled two new holes and added two new rib nuts. So now this will mean that we can position the battery in the right place. The throttle is going to go on next. And then we've had to cut the handlebar grip in order to make it slightly smaller for that to fit. So that will then press on. And then finally, the bar end, whichever way around it went, can go back on. Okay, so we've just installed the computer, the throttle, and hooked those cables up. Now we're just going to hook up this speed sensor. So we've got a bit of a, a sticky pad here that we can take off. And basically we've set this with the battery on so that the little LED light flashes every time the magnet goes past. And we've worked out our distance that it needs to be away. So now we're just gonna put that in place somewhere about here. All right, take it off then. Hello. <laughs> okay, so DIY complete. Now it's ready for test ride. <laughs> I wasn't even ready oh. yet. Accelerator, you can't kind of change gears when you're accelerating. Okay. Well, you have to be pedaling to accelerate anyway. 
Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah! This has been a great and fun project. Not too challenging. It's only really taken us the morning to put together. Now it's time to get out and ride. And we hope to show you more videos in the future as we showcase the power of the e-bike. If you want more info, you can watch our unboxing video. It shows you tips and tricks on what to order. If you really enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. It helps out the channel so we can show more great content in the future.